Introduction The Second Chance is a poignant and emotionally resonant tale that delves into the depths of human sorrow, resilience, and the ultimate triumph of the human spirit over life's most harrowing tragedies. This story encapsulates the very essence of the human experience, replete with heartbreak and despair, yet ultimately revealing that even in the bleakest moments, there is the potential for hope, renewal, and an enduring happiness that can be unearthed from the darkest of circumstances. Set in a quiet suburban town, the story opens with Sarah, a woman who exemplifies kindness and selflessness standing at the zenith of a life rich with love, success, and compassion. Her world is a tapestry woven with the threads of a loving family, a thriving career, and a heart brimming with empathy for those in need. However, fate takes an unforgiving turn, setting the stage for a tragic event that will forever alter the course of her life. The calamitous car accident that claims the lives of her beloved husband and daughter shatters Sarah's world. Grief, that relentless beast, descends upon her with a weight that crushes her spirit, plunging her into the abyss of despair. Her once bright future dissolves into a murky haze of sorrow, and she withdraws from friends, family, and colleagues. Her professional life, once a source of pride, begins to disintegrate. Chapter after chapter, Sarah's journey into darkness is depicted with unflinching realism. Her isolation, depression, and the overwhelming sense of loss are rendered with striking authenticity, reflecting the struggles of countless individuals who have navigated similar heartaches. Yet, it is within this darkness that a faint glimmer of hope begins to emerge. On one fateful, rain-soaked afternoon, Sarah crosses paths with Mark, a compassionate therapist who senses her pain and extends a lifeline of empathy. Hesitant but desperate for a reprieve, Sarah accepts his offer of help, marking the beginning of her arduous but transformative path toward recovery. With Mark as her guide, Sarah embarks on a journey of self-discovery, facing her painful past and beginning the slow, often painful process of rebuilding her life. Throughout the story, the narrative intimately explores the complexities of Sarah's relationships, portraying the power of family and the strength of human connection. Her efforts to mend broken bonds with her family and colleagues, as well as her return to work, reflect the sheer determination of the human spirit to mend itself when given the right support and tools. One of the central themes of The Second Chance is the remarkable impact of giving back to others in need. As Sarah's life regains stability, she channels her experience into volunteering at a local community center providing assistance and hope to those facing their own adversity. It is through this act of altruism that she finds solace and a renewed sense of purpose. The story doesn't just revolve around Sarah's personal growth and recovery, it also explores the profound concept of second chances. Her path leads her to Thomas, a man who has faced his own share of loss and their shared understanding of grief blossoms into a unique and powerful love story. Their love paves the way for a new beginning, as they decide to adopt a child, a symbol of their shared commitment to helping others and building a future filled with love and hope. In the final chapter, the second chance concludes with a triumphant and heartwarming note. Sarah's journey from the depths of despair to a life renewed with love and happiness serves as a testament to the indomitable resilience of the human spirit. Her story, inspirational and deeply moving, has the power to ignite hope in the hearts of those who have experienced profound loss, proving that, even in the most tragic circumstances, 
a second chance at happiness is not only attainable but a testament to the incredible strength of the human soul. As we delve into the intricacies of the second chance, we are invited to witness the transformation of a woman who confronts the darkest chapters of her life and emerges with a story that is, at once a tearjerker, a beacon of hope, and a reminder of the extraordinary power of human compassion and love. This tale transcends the bounds of fiction to depict a story rooted in reality, replete with universal themes that resonate deeply with all who have confronted the challenges of life's most profound tragedies. Chapter 1 A Life Unraveled In a tranquil suburban town, where life often flowed at a leisurely pace and neighbors knew each other's names, Sarah stood as a beacon of kindness and compassion. She was a woman whose life was a testament to the power of empathy and the joy of selflessness. Her days were filled with the echoes of laughter from her loving family, the satisfaction of a thriving career, and the contentment that emanated from a heart brimming with compassion. Sarah was not just another resident of this close-knit community, she was a pillar of strength and hope, known for her unwavering dedication to helping others. As a respected nurse at the local hospital, she had the unique ability to bring comfort and solace to those in pain. Her soothing words, gentle touch, an unwavering commitment to her patients indeed her to both colleagues and patients alike. It was not just a job for her, it was a calling. Her family life was equally idyllic. She was the loving wife of John, a gentle and hard-working man, and the doting mother of Emily, a bright and spirited young girl. Their home was a haven of warmth and laughter, where the aroma of freshly baked cookies often wafted through the air, and the sound of a piano played by Emily filled every corner. Sarah's days were filled with the simple joys of a happy family, and it was this happiness that radiated from her like a gentle, reassuring light. However, the tranquility of their lives was shattered one fateful afternoon. As the sun began to dip below the horizon, casting long shadows over the peaceful town, John and Emily set off for a routine trip to the local grocery store. It was an errand that held the promise of a quiet dinner together, the kind of normalcy that they cherished. But, as life often has it, the unexpected can descend without warning. As John and Emily traveled along the familiar roads, their car collided with another vehicle in a moment of profound and devastating tragedy. The accident claimed not only the lives of Sarah's husband and daughter but also the life they had all cherished together. The loss was staggering a blow that reverberated through the very core of Sarah's existence. In an instant, the world as she knew it crumbled into a chaotic heap of wreckage, much like the car that had been her family's mode of transportation. Her once joyful home turned into a silent, sorrowful place, devoid of the laughter and warmth that had been its heartbeat. The devastation was not just a loss, it was a chasm of grief that seemed insurmountable. The pain that Sarah felt was unlike anything she had ever known, an unrelenting weight that crushed her spirit. It was a pain that twisted and gnawed at her, leaving her breathless in its grip. Grief enveloped her, a dark and uninvited guest that refused to leave, drowning her in sorrow and shrouding her world in shadows. In the aftermath of that dreadful accident, the once thriving career that had given her so much satisfaction now became a distant memory. The hospital, where she had once been a source of solace to others, 
was now a place of haunting memories. Sarah withdrew from her colleagues, unable to bear the sympathy and sorrowful glances that met her at every turn. Her purpose, once unwavering, had dissolved into an aimless existence marked by pain and loss. This was the opening chapter of Sarah's journey, a chapter of profound grief and despair, where a life that had been a tapestry of love, family, and purpose unraveled before her eyes. But within this darkness, the story of the second chance begins, for even in the depths of despair, a glimmer of hope can emerge and the human spirit can begin the arduous journey of healing and renewal. Chapter 2. The Descent into Darkness Grief, like a relentless tempest, consumed Sarah in the days and weeks following the tragic accident. It was as if an unyielding darkness had settled over her life, pushing her deeper into an abyss of sorrow. Every moment was a battle against an overwhelming tide of emotions, each one more crippling than the last. Sarah's once vibrant spirit had become a hollow echo of its former self. The world that had once been filled with color and joy now seemed monochrome and empty. Her heart, once brimming with love and laughter, was now a heavy burden, weighed down by the agony of her loss. The retreat from the world began with her withdrawal from friends and family. Her closest friends, who had once filled her life with laughter and support, found themselves on the periphery of her existence. Sarah, once known for her vivacious gatherings and her innate ability to uplift those around her, had transformed into a solitary figure, isolated from the world she had once embraced. At work, her colleagues observed the stark change in her demeanor. The hospital, where she had once been a beacon of compassion and hope, was now a place of unrelenting anguish. The faces of her co-workers, filled with sympathy, only served as painful reminders of her family's absence. Sarah's once promising career began to unravel as she struggled to find meaning in the mundane tasks that once brought her fulfillment. Depression, like an unwelcome companion, settled in and took root. The world outside her home seemed alien and harsh, a place where her pain was invisible to those who passed her by. Her isolation became her shield, a fortress that kept the world at bay. Her days were marked by a relentless ache in her chest, a constant reminder of the emptiness left in the wake of her family's absence. The nights offered little solace, as they brought dreams that taunted her with fleeting glimpses of a life that could never be again. The laughter of her husband, the innocence of her daughter, all became spectres that haunted her sleep, tormenting her with the memories of what was lost. The struggle to make sense of her loss was an arduous battle. The unanswered questions, the what IFS, and the crushing weight of guilt, despite being unjustified, gnawed at her like a relentless parasite. She yearned for meaning, for a reason to understand why such a tragedy had befallen her family. In Chapter 2, the story takes us deep into the heart of Sarah's despair, as she grapples with the enormity of her grief. It explores the isolation that often accompanies profound loss, the transformation of a once vibrant life into one marked by depression and the relentless quest for answers in the face of an inexplicable tragedy. It is a chapter of profound sadness and despair, setting the stage for Sarah's journey towards healing and renewal in the chapters that follow. Chapter 3 – An Unexpected Encounter One rainy afternoon, as grey clouds hung low in the sky, Sarah found herself wandering aimlessly through a park near her suburban home. 
It was a park where she had once taken her daughter, Emily, to play on sunny afternoons, a place that held memories of laughter and joy. Now, it felt like a desolate, empty space, mirroring the void within her. The rain had begun as a gentle drizzle, but it quickly intensified, reflecting the turbulent storm that raged in her heart. She had often sought solace in solitary walks, finding a strange comfort in the soothing patter of raindrops on her umbrella. On this particular day, however, the rain seemed to match the relentless sorrow that had taken root within her. Sarah's steps were slow, her gaze cast downward, lost in the labyrinth of her own thoughts. She felt as if she were adrift in a vast, unforgiving sea of despair, unable to find her way back to the shores of a life she once knew. The world around her had become a blur, a muddled landscape of sadness. It was during this aimless wonder that Sarah's path intersected with that of Mark, a compassionate therapist who happened to be in the park, seeking solace of his own. Mark had an innate ability to sense the pain in others, a gift that had guided him through his career as a therapist. His compassionate nature had drawn him to help those who were hurting, even when he was off duty. As he approached Sarah, his heart ached for her, and he offered a simple yet profound act of kindness, an empathetic presence and a listening ear. With genuine concern, he asked if she was okay and offered a sheltered bench where they could sit and talk. Sarah, though initially hesitant, felt a strange, unspoken connection with this stranger who had extended a hand of compassion when she needed it most. Reluctantly, she accepted Mark's offer and sat down with him on the park bench. In the presence of this compassionate stranger, she began to open up, sharing the heavy burden of her grief, her sense of isolation, and her profound sense of loss. Mark, with empathy in his eyes and a heart full of understanding, listened to her without judgment, offering a safe space for her to voice her pain. It was during this conversation that Sarah, with tearful honesty, confessed that she was unable to bear the weight of her grief on her own any longer. She was drowning in the darkness that had enveloped her life since the accident, and she longed for a glimmer of hope, no matter how faint. At this moment, Mark suggested that she seek professional help to navigate the labyrinth of her emotions. Sarah, though hesitant, realized that this was a pivotal moment in her journey. It was the moment when she began to grasp the lifeline of healing, and she made the difficult decision to agree to seek therapy. This was the turning point that marked the beginning of her journey out of the abyss of grief and toward the possibility of renewal. Chapter 3, An Unexpected Encounter, is a pivotal moment in the story, where Sarah crosses paths with Mark, a compassionate therapist who becomes a source of hope and healing in her life. It portrays the transformative power of a simple act of kindness, a willingness to listen, and the importance of seeking help during times of profound despair. As Sarah reluctantly takes the first steps toward professional help, the process of healing begins, setting the stage for her journey of recovery and self-discovery in the chapters that follow. Chapter 4, Facing the Past With the first glimmer of hope ignited by her encounter with Mark, Sarah embarked on a courageous journey of self-discovery and healing. Under Mark's gentle and expert guidance, 
she began the arduous process of confronting her painful past and navigating the intricate labyrinth of grief. The therapy sessions with Mark provided a safe and supportive environment for Sarah to delve into the depths of her sorrow. She was encouraged to explore her feelings, to give voice to the memories that had haunted her, and to confront the tangled web of emotions that had held her captive since the tragic accident. Mark, with his compassionate and professional expertise, helped her make sense of her grief gently guiding her through the intricate terrain of her psyche. Through this therapeutic process, Sarah came to realize that her grief was not just a singular emotion but a complex tapestry of emotions. She experienced profound sadness, anger at the injustice of the accident, guilt over what she perceived as her own inadequacies as a mother and wife, and an overwhelming sense of loss that seemed insurmountable. Mark, with patience and understanding, helped her navigate these emotions and come to terms with the truth that grief is a multifaceted journey. One of the most challenging aspects of Sarah's therapy was the necessity to confront the past, to relive the memories she had tried so hard to bury. The therapy sessions encouraged her to remember the joy of her life before the accident to cherish the love she had shared with her husband and daughter, and to accept that their memory would forever be a part of her. Through her willingness to face the past, she began to find a path toward healing. Outside of therapy, Sarah initiated the challenging yet profoundly healing process of reconnecting with her family. The bonds with her parents, who had been deeply concerned about her well-being, had frayed during the darkest days of her grief. It was an emotional journey, one marked by difficult conversations and moments of shared vulnerability. Rebuilding these relationships required time, patience, and a willingness to acknowledge the pain they had all experienced. Mending broken relationships with friends and colleagues proved to be equally challenging. Many had felt the helplessness of not knowing how to support Sarah during her darkest days, and they had retreated to give her space. Sarah, recognizing the need to rebuild these connections, started reaching out to friends and co-workers, allowing them back into her life. One of the most significant steps in her journey of recovery was her decision to return to work. Her career as a nurse had once been a source of pride and satisfaction, and it was a path that she chose to resume. Returning to the hospital was a profound test of her resilience and inner strength. She encountered the familiar faces of her colleagues, the same faces that had borne witness to her sorrow, but now she returned with a newfound sense of purpose and determination. The journey was far from easy, marked by moments of doubt and despair. However, through the unwavering support of Mark, her family, and her network of friends and colleagues, Sarah began to rebuild her life. She learned the importance of resilience and inner strength, qualities she had possessed all along but had to rediscover in the face of overwhelming adversity. In Chapter 4, Facing the Past, the story explores the pivotal phase of Sarah's recovery journey. It delves into the transformative power of therapy, the courage it takes to confront painful memories and emotions, and the significance of rebuilding connections with family and friends. This chapter emphasizes the resilience of the human spirit and the potential for inner strength to emerge even in the most challenging circumstances. As Sarah progresses through this phase of her journey, she sets the stage for further healing and self-discovery in the chapters that follow. Chapter 5 – A Beacon of Hope As Sarah's journey through recovery continued, a newfound sense of purpose began to bloom within her. 
The pain that had once threatened to consume her gradually gave way to the steady rekindling of hope, and the notion of using her experience to help others became a beacon of light in her life. With her life regaining stability and her inner strength growing, Sarah sought a way to channel her newfound resilience into something meaningful. She found her calling in volunteering at a local community center, a place where individuals grappling with adversity came in search of support, understanding, and a glimmer of hope. Her role as a volunteer allowed her to tap into her natural gift for empathy and her profound understanding of the pain that accompanies loss. Sarah was a steadfast pillar of support for those she encountered at the community center, individuals who had endured their own trials, be it illness, grief, or hardship. Her ability to lend a sympathetic ear, offer comforting words, and share her own story of survival provided solace and inspiration to those who sought refuge within the center's walls. For Sarah, this act of giving back was not just an opportunity to share her own story but also a means of finding solace in helping others who faced their own adversity. Each interaction with those she aided became a testament to the strength of the human spirit and a reminder that even in the most challenging of times, there exists the potential for hope and resilience. In these moments of service, Sarah discovered that her own healing was intrinsically linked to her capacity to provide comfort and encouragement to others. Her story, once marked by tragedy, had evolved into a source of hope and inspiration. She realized that her journey, with all its pain and struggle, had a greater purpose to be a beacon of hope for those who had lost their way. Chapter 5, A Beacon of Hope, embodies the profound transformation in Sarah's life. It highlights the restorative power of helping others and the healing that comes from sharing one's story of survival. This chapter underscores the idea that even in the face of personal tragedy, Individuals can emerge as beacons of hope for others, offering a guiding light to those navigating their own storms. Sarah's journey of recovery and her newfound role as a source of inspiration set the stage for further growth and renewal in the chapters that follow. Chapter 6 New Beginnings As Sarah continued to volunteer at the community center, her journey of healing and self-discovery took an unexpected turn. In the midst of offering hope and support to others, she discovered her own path to renewal through a chance encounter with a fellow traveler on the road of grief. Thomas, a widowed man who had experienced deep loss of his own, had also sought solace at the community center. His eyes carried the weight of sorrow, and his heart bore the scars of grief that had reshaped his life. He had known the depths of despair and the anguish of rebuilding a life after profound loss. When Sarah and Thomas crossed paths at the center, their shared understanding of grief and resilience created an instant, unspoken connection. Their conversations flowed effortlessly like two souls who had weathered similar storms and found solace in each other's presence. They talked about their lost loved ones, the pain they had endured, and the indomitable spirit that had propelled them forward in their respective journeys of healing. In the quiet moments spent together, they discovered a bond that transcended the confines of shared grief. It was a bond formed not only through the understanding of sorrow but also through their shared desire to embrace life once more. As they spent more time together, a warmth and companionship blossomed, and they soon realized that their connection had evolved into something profound, love. 
their love story was not without its complexities. The memory of their late spouses remained a tender and cherished part of their lives. Yet, in each other's company, they found the strength to embrace new beginnings. Love had not replaced the love they had lost but had, instead, allowed them to find joy and healing together. Their journey as a couple was marked by the fusion of their pasts with their future. Sarah's journey of recovery and her commitment to helping others remained a central part of her life. Thomas, too, continued to honor the memory of his late wife by volunteering at the community center. Together, they became a source of inspiration for others, demonstrating that love could coexist with the past while paving the way for a new chapter in life. Chapter 6, New Beginnings, explores the profound theme of love's ability to bloom in the wake of grief and loss. It showcases the beauty of a relationship forged through shared understanding and the courage to embrace a new chapter in life. Sarah and Thomas's love story illustrates that love can be a powerful force for healing and that, even in the face of profound sorrow, new beginnings are possible. This chapter serves as a testament to the resilience of the human heart and the capacity to find happiness once more, even after enduring the most profound of sorrows. Chapter 7, The Power of Second Chances As Sarah and Thomas's love continued to flourish, they found themselves at a crossroads, faced with an opportunity to redefine their future. Their journey of healing and newfound love had proven that even in the darkest of moments, second chances at happiness were not only attainable but a testament to the incredible strength of the human spirit. Their love, born out of shared grief and blossoming into a profound connection, became the cornerstone of their lives. With this love as their foundation, Sarah and Thomas began to contemplate the prospect of expanding their family, of experiencing the joys and challenges of parenthood together. As they embarked on this new phase of their life journey, Sarah took a remarkable step. She chose to adopt a child, a symbol of her unwavering commitment to helping others, a testament to her enduring love and a reflection of her belief in the power of second chances. Adopting a child was not merely an act of starting a family, it was an embodiment of Sarah and Thomas's shared values and their desire to give a child in need the opportunity to thrive and find happiness. For Sarah, it was a way of transforming her own journey of pain and loss into a story of hope, resilience, and love. Their decision to adopt was a profoundly transformative one, not only for the couple but also for the child they welcomed into their lives. The child, who had known the adversity of life, found in Sarah and Thomas the loving and supportive parents they had longed for. It was a story of redemption and new beginnings not just for the couple but for a young soul who now had the chance to flourish and experience the love and care they deserved. The trio's journey as a family was marked by a beautiful tapestry of moments filled with love, laughter, and shared dreams. They faced the challenges of parenthood with the same strength and resilience that had brought them together. Through the trials and tribulations of raising a child, they found a renewed sense of purpose and joy that had eluded them during the darkest days of their grief. Chapter 7, The Power of Second Chances, is a celebration of the remarkable capacity of the human spirit to find happiness and purpose once more, even after enduring profound loss. It illustrates the transformative power of love, resilience, and the willingness to embrace new beginnings. Sarah and Thomas's decision to adopt, and their journey as a family exemplify the enduring potential for hope and happiness that can be uncovered, no matter how challenging the circumstances. 
It serves as a testament to the indomitable spirit of the human heart and the power of second chances in life. Chapter 8, A Happy Ending In the final chapter of, The Second Chance, we witness the culmination of Sarah's extraordinary journey from the depths of despair to a life renewed with love, hope, and a newfound purpose. Her story is a testament to the resilience of the human spirit, a beacon of inspiration for those who have traversed their own paths of grief and adversity. As time passed, Sarah's life continued to flourish. The scars of her past, though never forgotten, were now worn as badges of honor, symbols of her unwavering strength and resilience. She had come to understand that while the pain of her loss would always remain a part of her, it need not define her future. Instead, she chose to let her capacity to love, to heal, and to inspire become the driving force in her life. Through her experiences of loss and renewal, Sarah became a source of hope for countless others who had faced their own moments of darkness. Her story served as a powerful reminder that even in the most tragic of circumstances, a second chance at happiness was not only possible but a testament to the indomitable strength of the human spirit. Her volunteer work at the community center continued to inspire those who crossed her path. She shared her journey, her triumph over grief, and the transformative power of love. The individuals she had supported over the years now looked to her as a symbol of what was achievable in the face of profound sorrow. Sarah and Thomas's family continued to thrive, filled with love, laughter, and shared dreams. Their decision to adopt had not only blessed their lives, but also the life of the child they welcomed into their home. They had become a family united by love, resilience, and the promise of second chances. In the end, the second chance was not merely a story but a testament to the extraordinary resilience of the human spirit, the power of love and compassion, and the boundless potential for happiness even after enduring the most profound of sorrows. It served as a powerful and moving narrative, a reminder that within the depths of despair, hope could be rekindled, and that, through the transformative power of love, second chances were not only attainable but a testament to the incredible strength of the human soul. The Second Chance is a story that invites readers to reflect on the profound capacity of the human spirit, the resilience that resides within each of us, and the enduring potential for happiness, even after enduring the darkest of tragedies. It stands as a poignant reminder that life is a journey marked by moments of profound sorrow and incredible joy, and that, through the power of love and human connection, we have the ability to find happiness once more.